Hi everyone, welcome back on my channel. Today is a special edition because we are coming up for a Christmas. So first of all, I wish you a very happy and a healthy Christmas time. And I hope you will have a wonderful time spent with your families. Uh, that's what I definitely going to do. And today we will do this cute penguin. You can have a look. Yes, it's totally cute to dress up with some hat and a scarf and I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial. If you do, give me a like and subscribe to this channel for more tutorials coming up, usually on Mondays, but also Wednesdays and Saturdays. Let's start! That's the cute penguins uh, which we are going to paint today and uh, I will show you exactly how to do it. So we are going to need some color plus gels and I've got them here so we can mix all the colors we needed and I will just put them on the side in here. So tiny bit of the black. The mixing palette is amazing because we can just mix all the colors in there. We are going to need a blue, quite a lot of blue. And I will put two dots of blue. I'm going to need also red. And again, usually I quite like to put about two dots of the each color, uh, so I've got them uh, separated when I'm going to mix the colors. Yellow one. White, which is the main color. And I'm using the paint on French white. Instead of getting like a full collection of the color plus, I thought like it's better for me to have the paint on French as a white and the foil design gel as a black, so I've got more options with the Neil Art. Um, also going to add a little bit of the pink, like a, some old gel polish, which my sister get for me ages ago, <laughs> but it's so nice for the designs. And the other one from the Neo Neo, like a beautiful pink. And now we can mix the colors. So I'll show you that as well. Like we need to create the orange. So I'm adding a drop of the yellow into the red to create my nice orange. There we are. I'm also needing like a really nice pale blue. So I'm going to add a large scoop of the white into the blue. And I'm going to mix it nice. This is pretty dark still, more white. There we are. So we've got a really nice blue. And that's it for now. So I have created all my colors. And as a background, I'm going to use uh, the blue which we have created. Just a gel brush, so it's quicker with the application. And I'm applying it on the entire tip. You can also um, pick up the colors which are not properly mixed, because then you get a more kind of a sky look which I think is pretty interesting too. I'm going to give it a cure. Now this video is going to take a little time and I don't want to speed up on the curing process, which I usually do for uh, tutorials on the tips, because uh, the curing is really important so I don't get any smudges. <coughs> and uh, I'm doing this tutorial also just to say thank you guys for all your support. Like, I mean, the channel is really growing and you keep sharing all my videos, so I thought like, no, I have to say a big thank you to you and came up with something a little bit more advanced uh, 
just to appreciate all your support. The next step is going to be the white detail on our cute animal. So I'm going to paint the parts where the eye is going to be. And again, I will be still using a very large brush um, just to save the time. So I need to plan where the head is going to be and the eyes. And the brush is quite cute um, shape because it has those tips. So it gives me a really nice shape for the uh, places like the eyes. And then going down so we can do the face shape. So once I have created the biggest splash of the color, I can swap into the smaller brush and I can just define this detail. So it's much quicker this way. So we can already see we start to create the shape we need. can make him a bit more chubby on the cheeks. And define the our eyes area. We can also go with a pretty large amount of the white gel on his tummy. Again, this is so much quicker with the large brush. And after I have created this layer, I'm going to give it a proper cure. Again, with the curing, just follow your manufacturer's instruction depending on what kind of product you are using. Our next step would be the detail with the black. So I'm, in the meantime, I'm just preparing my brush on the side, kind of rolling it with the product. And then we can start painting black. So he has some hands, <laughs> if you can call them hands. Here will be a space for the scarf. So just in case paint them bigger, because later on you can just cover them with the scarf. It's always easier to paint if we kind of break uh, the things into the little shapes. So that's his hands done. I'm also having a wipe in here so I can clean my brush in between the colors. You can put a drop of the UV cleanser also on your um, wipe and you can also clean your brush with the top coat so i will put a drop of the top coat on the side in here dip it in my brush and then i can clear out the color if it's needed now i'm going with the outline of the black on his head now again i'm not bothered too much on the bottom in here because we will cover it with the scarf so the only sharp line i'm needing is the one which is close to white
And the higher we go, the more black there is. This is very pretty painting, so I'm trying to hold my breath as well. <laughs> Now, where his nose is, we're going to go like a wee triangle. And then I can color this all in. and give him a bit more volume on the top of the head. So you can already see it start looking like a weeping you. I'm going to give it a cure and then we can concentrate on the eyes and the pick. So I'm going to clean my brush and I recommend for the eyes, like especially when they are so tiny, to use a um, dotting tool so you can get it at nice. Actually this one will be good. couple seconds more cure and my white will be completely cured the black wouldn't uh, because it is a flash cure on the black only so for the eyes we are going to um, go with the blue color and I will start with the kind of lighter blue first Go pretty decent size on this blue and let's do a bit work on the pick so I'm picking up my orange that's a bit too dark I'm adding a drop of the yellow and a white That's a nicer color, much nicer color. Then we're going to add a drop of the red. So he's smiling. And if we fussy, we can dip in a drop of the black into the red in the corners. And blend that in. And do the bottom of the peak. So orange and a yellow.
drop more. And that's me happy with this cute pick. I'm going to give it a cure because it is such a small details that I don't want to smudge it. <laughs> I can clean my brush and we can start uh, giving him some color because he is shy and he got a bit of red cheeks uh, from the frost as well. Tell me also in the comments down below what you think about this design and if you try it hashtag Dorota Palicka because I would love to see your work as well. Uh, so I've got this uh, very nice pink and I'm mixing it with the top coat, like lots of top coat in there. And we are going to put some makeup on his face. So I've got two blobs of the product and now I'm going to fade it in. because there is lots of top coats I think it looks so cute you can really see it it is faded this is going to be a baby one <laughs> we have to do that on his tummy as well So more intense in the middle, then the more outside we're going, the more faded it is. So I've got intense in the middle and now I'm just fading it. That's a cute tummy. So that's nicely faded in. and I love how it's uh, change the design. I'm going to add a tiny bit more work on his uh, peak because it, it is a little bit too light on the bottom and on the bottom we've got like a wee shadow in there so I'm mixing red, orange and a black. So that's a very small detail painted here, but it looks uh, better with the tiny bit of the shadow in there. I'm going also to give it a cure so my blush uh, pink is going to set. Because there is quite a lot of top coat and then it moves into different places if you don't do it. And let's do his eyes now. So I'm just a couple seconds cure. And we are going to do more work on the eyes. So we have placed the light uh, blue and our next step is to go with the darker blue. So there we are, we've got the light blue. Now we can go with the darker blue. I'm just preparing my dotting tool with the right color because I don't want to go also too dark. There we are. Small dot. Same on the other eye. Small dot. And we can paint, uh, start painting his scarf. 
So because this is a baby one and the dad has a purple, mom has a pink, the baby will go pink and blue. <laughs> I think it will look cute. So the scarf, I will go with the nice pink. Actually, we may go with the white first. Will be easier. There is going to be quite a lot of work with the scarf at the second part. So that's the part where we've got the scarf. That's the part where the hat is coming. Normally I paint just with the color I want, but here we are going to do the stripes. So actually I thought the white is going to be a better option. And on the top, we're going to go nice blue. I have to make the blue darker than the one which I've got on the background. I'm just mixing my color up. And we're painting the hat. Color it in. And then give it a cure. Still got some work to be done on the eyes and that's always the most difficult part because the detail is so so tiny. So I have cleaned my brush, drop of the top coat. This way I keep my brush and um, in a good shape and the brush I'm using is the Neil Perfect painting fine liner. I also quite like the Micro Styler 40 which is a really nice and thin brush as well I show you guys. It's full of glitter but um, the Micro Styler 40 is a really nice and decent brush as well for uh, painting such a small detail. So we need to add the detail in the eye and this is going to be black but I'm going to mix it with the drop of the blue. So black mix with blue just so it's not too strong and I need to go around his eyes so hold the breath in with me. Same on the other eye. When doing those kind of detail, make sure you always got a previous layer really good cured. So if something goes wrong, you can just wipe it off. Drop more on this one.
though such a small uh, detail like make a big difference black inside the eye and then add these colors into the scarf so i'm just cleaning my brush again in the top coat and i'm going to work pink and blue so pink 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 Do the same on the hat. Going with the one color is just quicker and easier, but I thought I will show you more complicated one. I'm going to give it a cure. And we can move on into the blue color. This is quite a lot of work with the scarf, but I think it will look cool. He's going to have a cute hat. I'm going to give it a cure. And after that, we want to add him some sparkles inside his eyes. And the sparkles are going to be white. You want to place the sparkles where you've got your black. So he has some sparkle in the eye. And basically that's the first part done. So I'm going to give it a proper cure now. And we are going to finish the look with uh, wintery um, wintery detail like you can see it on the scarf and on the hat here and i will show you how to create this look so i'm just going to cure it properly my tip don't forget to share this video guys and subscribe to my channel my channel we like the more subscribers the more views and the likes the videos has the more motivations i've got to produce something more advanced something more special for you and this video is uh, as i say like just to say a huge thank you uh, for all the support you are giving me to this channel. 
I'm going to apply the top coat on the entire surface and this is going to be the no that's the wrong one see the no wipe top gel the reason we want the no wipe is just so the parts with the hat which we are going to create are not going to stick into the top coat And I always love like when we're painting with the gel, once we put the top coat or even with the acrylic paints, like how smoother the design becomes and how nice and clean look it gives. If it would be like for a competitions and the things like that, I would bath this top coat and reapply it again to get a really nice... Um, smooth effect now i'm going to give it a proper cure so 60 seconds exactly 60 seconds cure and then we can move on into the scarf so we have used um, blue and we have used the pink for the scarf and now i need to prepare my mixture so i'm adding a drop of the paint on french and the reason why i'm adding the paint on french is that's the gel which has very little inhibition layer so I don't need to apply the top coat over it and it's lasting like a long time. So I can use that for a sugar effect. And we already have got our mixture here. Maybe a bit more of the pink one. Cool. I've got another nine seconds for my tip to cure. And then we can move on. So I'm going to apply this jumper look. Starting with the pink one. So basically I'm painting lots of tiny lines. Quite time consuming, but I think the effect is amazing. Do the same with the blue one. Let's give us this knitted look. And that looks so awesome. <laughs> and uh, we have to do the same on the hat. <laughs> but on the hat I will just go quicker, so... 
it will go this shape. Obviously, the more time you spend on it, the more beautiful it's going to look. And the top one, the rounded bit, I don't know the English name for it, sorry guys. I'm mixing, um, actually I've got mixed my pink. And we're going to go very furry, so lots of tiny wee lines. And then go into the white. Again, the more time I would spend on it, the better it will look. Now, before we cure it, we have to sprinkle with some sugar effect. And I do love the one with the sparkle, so it is a Mermind powder. I'm going to take my cuticle pusher and do the sprinkle. <laughs> Proper good one everywhere. Remove the excess and give it a cure. Now the cure we are want to go really double cure to make sure everything is going to stay on and it's not going to come off when the clients are going to wash their hands. So I'm going to give it like a proper proper cure and then I show you what would be the last step. So I do really hope you have enjoyed watching this tutorial. Uh, because as I say, it is a big thank you for all the support you are giving it to this channel. And I hope I will be able to produce more and more uh, those type of videos. If you've got any requests uh, or if you would like to see something uh, different uh, on this channel, just let me know in the comments down below because I'm happy to listen to your suggestions. And uh, I will be producing more and more videos uh, the bigger the channel grow. <coughs> so... The parents are missing the baby, baby, which is just cooking. <laughs> and once it's ready, I can show you the final, final look. Once you wait with me, you can hit the share, share button uh, so the others can see this uh, cute design too. So that's the baby one done. I'm using the very soft brush to remove the excess. And as you can see it, it didn't stick into uh, the top coat, it did stick in only to the part which we have painted with the hat. So the baby should go in the middle. Let me pull this blue tack. And we've got that baby and a mommy. Thanks guys for watching. Bye!